YouTube, what up? Currently, I'm running errands. Earlier, I was at work, and I couldn't wait to get back to the crib. So when I got back to the crib, I took a little shower, things of that nature. But I got to I gotta handle something real quick. But the thing I'm talking about right now is the Kyrie ever requested a trade. See, I, I seen this shit probably around uh, right after lunch, my lunch break, which my lunch break be over with at 12, 15, so I think like 1 o'clock. I, I started seeing posts and shit about it. I thought this shit was fake. Because they been saying shit like that throughout the whole... Throughout the last summer And you know what I'm saying You know KD requested a trade Kyrie requested a trade You know Kyrie just playing chess I feel like Do he feel like Do he really want to be with the Nets Yeah his heart His heart And his heart he do Cause you know that's where you know Everybody know he from Jersey And shit like that So he's a huge Nets fan But you know Joe Sy and all them guys Man they just They, they just been they, they been fucking up the situation Like the whole suspension uh, you know what I'm saying? And then they Kyrie trying to get his money at the end of the day. He's trying to get an extension. And uh, the Nets I ain't talking about shit. Like, it was just a week ago when, when Kyrie and his team was like, we want to stay. We're looking for an extension. This is what we want. The ball is in y'all court. In a week, and now this, now, now this man is requesting a trade. So, obviously, that means if you put two and two together, that the Nets ain't trying to give him an extension. But why not? This nigga, this man is an all-star starter. Like, yeah, but I, I ain't finna bring up the uh, the distractions or whatever, you know, as far as y'all concerned, distractions. But this man is putting up 27 a game, you know what I'm saying, on good shooting splits. I mean, he's producing out there. At first, they was on like a 10-game plus winning streak, but, you know, they kind of been in the rut ever since Katie been injured. But, uh, I mean, pay the man. If you got a superstar on your squad, you got to pay him. He's too talented. So, the Nets, I mean, shit, they fumbled up the bag, man. If Kyrie finna be gone, I don't think I, it's like, it's like a 40, 60% chance with me. It's a 60% chance he going to stay. Really a 70% chance he going to stay and a 30% he going to get traded by the, uh, by the end of the trade deadline or whatever. But, Man, man, KD out of there. And I, I seriously believe if he don't get traded now, he's definitely leaving because the Nets, man, they just from the from the Steve Nash to the to how they handled James Harden to the to the to the suspension of Kyrie, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make trying to make him meet up with Jewish leaders like this man, like what the hell? It just the Nets, man. Everybody like to everybody like to blame everything on Kyrie, but the Nets have not. Uh, y'all ain't holding the Nets organization accountable for their actions. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, especially Joe Sire. But uh, Kyrie, Kyrie finna be gone. KD finna be gone. Ben Simmons ain't doing shit. Uh, Nicholas Claxton, he be, he's been developing quite into a nice player. But uh, man. I mean, I kind of seen this shit coming, though, but I thought that was at least going to play it out all the way to the end. But, you know, Kyrie is just doing this. He just playing chess. Him and his team is playing chess right now. You know what I'm saying? They either going to give him an extension or bro going to get get the hell up out of there. And shit, they don't want to lose him for nothing, so they're going to have to trade him eventually. Man. Mm-mm. I thought, shit, I thought uh, the Bucks, well, not the Bucks, the Nets, you know, they was gonna get eliminated in the second round. I ain't gonna start because they were playing good basketball. But Ben Simmons, man, he just he's too he's too much of a liability, bro. I don't give I don't give a damn about what none of y'all say. He has not played. He hasn't even played fifty percent of his natural uh, talent. You know what I'm saying? So. As much as I love Kyrie, you know, Kyrie my favorite player and K I love KD. But man, they ain't they they ain't they gonna get bounced out in the second round. You know what I'm saying? Man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this shit. Where y'all think he gonna go? Uh people talking about the, uh, the Lakers, of course. Uh I honestly think he probably gonna People talking about the Mavericks, the Phoenix. Now Phoenix will be a good ass spot, I ain't gonna lie. With D-Book All they need is a big man Like a true big man 
Luca, he I feel like he too ball dominant for Kyrie to, you know what I mean, type shit. Um, you know. I just feel like Luca a selfish player a little bit. I ain't gonna cap. Even though he averaged a lot of assists, I feel like he very ball dominant. If he ain't touching the ball like he's supposed to, he gonna throw a fit type shit, which you know what I'm saying? Luca is a great player, that's how I feel on the outside looking in, but you know, if he go, he, if he go, he be joining the Lakers, man. That should be crazy. Shit, because the Brooklyn was talking about getting Russell Westbrook anyways. Man. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about that shit, man. Uh, <laughs> I would I would have had this shit scripted out or whatever, but I ain't want to wait too late, you know what I'm saying, uh, to make the video. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this shit and let, what y'all think was going to happen. Is he going to stay? Is he going to uh, leave before the trade deadline? What team you think he going to be on? And, uh, yeah. I'm going to fuck with y'all later on when I get back to the crib, man. I'm going to make some more videos, too. Oh, yeah, I also forgot to say. This is for all that, uh... Man, Kyrie's just being a distraction again. He's such a horrible teammate. Ooh, he wants out. Ooh. He's a teaser. He's a, he's a work. He's a terrible human being. But y'all really don't even believe that, bro. He just that's the media narrative that surrounds Kyrie, but he's just a bad he's a bad person, he's a bad teammate, he's selfish. Like man, quit all that, man. If organization if organization they ain't been going well, since you've been there, they ain't been going right. Not saying that, you know, Kyrie doesn't have any fault to that, or he hasn't he doesn't have his uh his part in that. But you know, shit, the organization let him down. She let, they let themselves down. And shit, he ain't getting no younger. Shit, I don't blame him, man. Man, y'all motherfuckers be crazy. So imagine if you imagine if you Kyrie Irving. They they tried to make your ass apologize. They tried to make you, they gave you a list for, you, for things for you to do for you to get back on the court. They wanted you to meet up with the Jewish leaders. Who are they? That's like you being at your job. What's we'll say you? What's we'll say you working at McDonald's? You been you been cashier for a year, for back to back years. They still not trying to give you a raise, even though your production on the on the uh, on the cashier has been, you know, what I'm saying, has been good. You even learned how to cook, but they still not trying to pay you. They still they still not trying to. You gonna get on down? I mean, I. I'm starting to look at the NBA like how, like they 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 have a job to do. That's their nine to five. They are in the in, a professional NBA player. They're a professional basketball player. If they're not satisfied where they are, they're gonna get another job somewhere else. They gonna relocate. We do this shit every day. They just get paid millions of dollars to do it, man. Man, these mother, man, these NBA players are human, bro. I just wanted to say this real quick. Y'all motherfuckers on Twitter. Well, y'all be toxic as hell. And then, not to mention, that, uh, them niggas was having a, a pride battle. You know, because everybody on social media, like, yeah, uh, Kyrie and the KD, they, they running the nets. They, they do whatever they please. So, Joe Sy and all them guys, they took that shit to heart. So as soon as Kyrie or whatever fucked up again or was causing, I wouldn't say fuck up, but causing more controversy, you know what I'm saying? They, they trying to, they, that, that was their way of like, yeah, now you gotta, now you gotta please us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be a part of that shit, bro. That's like a, the supervisor I'm dealing with now. He ain't, he ain't talking about your production. He talking about, he, t he trying to, he trying to do personal shit. He bringing up personal shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I gotta think about that shit, man. Y'all be. This shit would be real life. No matter how much money you make.